Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be reviewing the Edifier R1280DB bookshelf monitor speakers that I have right behind me. So let's jump right in. I'm getting These speakers cost $129 on Amazon with over 2,000 5-star ratings. Let's get some tech specs out of the way. These speakers are 21 watts each with 13mm tweeters and 4-inch bass drivers. They also come with a wireless remote and on the side, adjustable volume, bass and treble knobs. On the back, these speakers have two RCA line in inputs, one coaxial input and one optical input. If those input options were not enough for you, these speakers also have Bluetooth functionality. Let's talk about build quality. These speakers have a solid speaker box along with a nice wood grain finish on their sides. Other than the wood colored finish we see at the back, these also come in a matte black variation as well. Mind you, these are not professional studio monitors for mastering tracks, but for me, I use them mainly for entertainment or media consumption along with video editing. What's a speaker review without talking about sound quality? These bad boys up there have a very high power output considering their size. They get really loud and the functionality to also adjust their bass and treble is a must need if you're going to pair these speakers with your TV for a home entertainment system. They can very easily power a small to medium sized room without any issues. Bass heads out there rejoice because the bass these speakers produce are adequate for their size being tight and punchy. Also, having the bass ports located at the front of the speakers helps to channel the bass response directly at you. It's especially a delight when watching movies because you can hear and feel every gunshot and explosion happening, drawing you in, giving you that immersive feel. Audio signatures at the mid and high ends are also clear and crisp, basically bang on for any kind of audio genre that you're interested in. Since I use these speakers for video editing most of the time, I leave the bass and also treble knob at their default levels. This is to avoid over or even undercompensating for the sound signatures whenever I'm editing a video. One thing to note though, if you're going to be placing these speakers on your desk like me, I would highly recommend that you get some sound isolation foam pads for each speaker. This helps improve audio clarity and reduces sound resonance coming from the table itself. Some quirks I notice while using these Edifier speakers. The first one is if you're streaming audio from a connected Bluetooth device. The problem here is that you can't adjust the volume of the music or the sound coming on your electronic device itself. You have to use the remote or the onboard volume knobs. If I've got my feet up chilling on the couch, I don't want to be walking to the speakers every time I need to adjust the volume. A second quirk is that the volume knob is a digital knob rather than an analog one like how we see on the bass and treble knobs. What that means is that there is no clear lowest point and there is no clear highest point. You can scroll left infinitely and scroll right infinitely. The digital volume knob 
coupled with no volume indicator on the speakers themselves make it really hard to dial in that sweet spot or that volume which you're looking for. Those are my two major complaints with the edifiers, but let me tell you what I love other than the sound quality. It's the remote control. I know, who loves a remote control? But I do love this one because you don't need to physically aim the remote at the speakers in order to do adjustments. I guess it's a ploy by Edifier to give you a really good remote to compensate for the speakers not having any volume indicators. I don't know. To conclude, these Edifiers do not disappoint for their price and size. They are perfect for desktop and home entertainment setups. Audio quality is bang on with adjustable bass and treble knobs. And the only thing lacking here is a volume level indicator, but that's not a deal breaker. So if you are looking to replace your computer speaker setup, these are a welcomed upgrade. So let me know down in the comments below, what is your home desktop setup like? Are you using monitor speakers or a soundbar or are you one of those OG peeps using their laptop speakers? Be sure to drop a thumbs up if you like this review and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya!